And an article was just written about this in one of the Harvard Business uh, Journal, if I'm saying that right, but about grief. Um, that one way to look at what we are experiencing right now is that we are all in this collective state of grief. We don't tend to think of grief and loss as something that's happening on more of a daily basis. We tend to think of, of what happens, of course, when we lose someone or something or when there's a breakup. But we're in, in grief and loss states actually a lot of the time. We're often grieving things that, that we wouldn't be aware of. It's pretty, pretty insidious and subtle. And so, you know, a lot of things are lost right now for a lot of people. A loss of normalcy, mm -hmm. a loss of connection, right? a loss of our mobility, our independence, um, a loss of a sense that we uh, aren't going to experience something like what we're experiencing. We didn't, many, most of us perhaps didn't think this was going to happen. This is kind of rocking our sense of this happens to other people, maybe in other countries, this doesn't happen here, but it's happening to all of us in a huge way. And we're grieving the loss of the security that that wouldn't happen because it's, it's, it is very real and it is happening, right? So yeah. the stages, I don't know if you remember that the, we often think of the five stages of grief, of denial, see if I can remember all these, denial, <laughs> anger, bargaining, sadness, sometimes called depression, mm -hmm. and acceptance. Right? Denial, anger, bargaining, sadness, acceptance, right? And it's also worth mentioning there's a sixth stage that, that we're talking about now that's more about finding meaning. So finding mm -hmm. meaning in the loss, okay? Um, but it's important with these five stages to remember that we don't go through them in a linear way. We go in and out. We bounce in and all of it, out in and out of all of it. We might be in a state of denial, and we might move from denial to going through a period of sadness. Then we might maybe move from sadness to acceptance that lasts for a day or a week or a year. And then you might go back into anger. Right. So it goes all over the place. So be careful. Uh, what we say about grief is just be careful about assuming that it's going to follow any kind of course and then you're through it and it never comes back. Right. So grief comes and goes. Um, and then lastly, a couple things about grief, um, what to do about it. Right? Understand the stages I mentioned. Right. Denial, anger, bargaining, sadness, acceptance. But also remember that, that, like I said, they're not linear. Right. And this is we're also experiencing a lot of anticipatory grief. And we're anticipating grief, we're anticipating loss, John, because things are happening now, but we also know that there's more that's going to happen, and we don't know what that is, and so we are feeling some of that grief ahead of time, which is really just another form of anxiety, right, where our mind is going to the future and imagining the worst. So we're, we're anticipating grief, or sometimes called pre-grieving, grieving ahead of time, right? So again, the, the final thought about grief is, again, to come back to the present as best you can, to calm yourself, right, again, mindfulness, come back to this moment. And if you have moments of grief, whatever stage that is, allow for that, mm -hmm. allow for it. We don't wanna feel the feelings that are there usually because they're unpleasant and yet we, we can't move around grief, we can only move through it. So allow for grief and, and be willing to share that with the trusted people in your life that you can lean on right now. Yeah, as you were talking about grief, I was actually thinking a little bit about, you know, and, you know, there's severities of like, what are those things that are, that we're grieving, we're grieving, you know, uh, you know, I have a cousin who's, you know, it's her senior year in college, and she's going home already, there's no, there's gonna be no commencement for her, you know, culminating these four years, or, um, but even something more like sports fans that there's no March Madness, or there's no, you know, baseball seasons getting pushed back, and those kind of normal American global activities of sport, um, Broadway being shut down. Um, you know, a lot of shows are the people enjoy the production has halted. So it's like, even, you know, the, there's some the more serious things, but even those little things, you know, that we enjoy, you know, the, I could see people grieving over that too. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? And those shouldn't be minimized that, that that's, they all make up our daily life and our routines and things that are predictable and things that we look forward to and things that we planned on having in our life. And when they're taken from us, regardless of what they are, we feel the loss of that. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really, really profound and interesting.